Sunscreen sticks have been trending recently as a new form of sun protection. The hype got to me and I ended up trying the super popular Beauty of Joe's and Matte Sunstreak Mugwort Plus Camellia. These sticks are marketed for their portability, convenience for application and effortless protection. But then, why didn't I purchase this sunscreen stick again? Watch till the end because after watching this video, you might not want to purchase or repurchase it either. Hello, this is Sara Deba. I love science, skincare and science of skincare. And today, I'm going to talk about this beauty of Joseon sunscreen stick. Let's talk about the good stuff first. This is a lucrative product. The moment I saw the product, I thought I knew why people like it so much. Packaging is beautiful. It's light. So easy to hold and carry. I can apply as if I'm getting a face massage. The texture of the product is good too. It's non-greasy, dries down quickly and gives my skin an almost matte finish. Yet, it leaves a moisturizing feeling and doesn't dry out my face. It gives no white cast and doesn't cause piling. There's no need to worry about eye stinging either as this stick sunscreen has a finish that doesn't transfer to the eyes. It also is great to apply or reapply over makeup. It sounds like a dream sunscreen, doesn't it? No wonder the internet got crazy for it. But still, I won't buy this sunscreen stick again. In fact, after watching this video, I believe many people won't buy this again. Yes, sunscreen sticks are very convenient to use. Yes, my regular tip sunscreen sometimes frustrates me to death. It spills, it plops, it leaves the hands greasy. On the other hand, with sticks, you don't need to wash your hands before applying. Just take it out, open the lid and roll it around. And it rolls or slides, I should say, very well too. You can also use this as an SPF lip balm. And the reason we go through so much trouble with our tube sunscreen is to protect us from the UV rays, right? And that's where these stick sunscreens start to fall down. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this sunscreen did not achieve the SPF or PA rating it claims. It contains some new generation UV filters like Evenel T150, Parcel SLX, Evenel A+, Dinosaur S. It also includes some great antioxidants and plant extracts. No fragrance, no alcohol, no essential oils. This sunscreen was developed by Global Raman in collaboration with Beauty of Jason. It's a beautiful and effective formula no doubt. But the problem lies with the whole stick idea of itself. I mean the protection and application of it. Because any sunscreen will only work if you apply enough of it. In order to get proper protection from any sunscreen, we must apply 2 mg of sunscreen per square centimeter, which approximately amounts to 1 foot teaspoon for the face only. But no one has ever actually measured how many swipes of a sunscreen stick it takes to be 1 foot teaspoon or 2 mg per square centimeter. I mean, it's obvious that a consumer can't measure a um, sunscreen stick with a spoon. The American Association of Dermatology recommends 4 swipes per place to obtain the necessary sun protection. But they haven't tested it either. Thankfully, someone else did it for us. Enta, the legendary Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science. She conducted extensive experiments to determine how much sunscreen we apply with 4 swipes. And what she found was shocking. On average, you need a minimum of 8 swipes or more per area and around 34 swipes for the full face to achieve the marketed SPF 50 from a sunscreen stick. It takes about 4 minutes of continuous application, which also means after applying that much, it really doesn't feel elegant anymore. In fact, at some point, the sunscreen sticks start putting sunscreen back onto the sunscreen instead of my face. Hope that made sense. And this sunscreen is no exception either. And there's the missing spots issue. Sunscreen sticks tend to miss more spots and are difficult to apply to certain areas like around the eyes or nose. Again, credit goes to Michelle from Lab Muffin. Overall, the idea of stick sunscreen sounds really cool on paper. A sunscreen that's portable, that's easy to apply and reapply. But ultimately, when it comes to protection, if you want to use the sunscreen stick as your main sunscreen, you shouldn't. If you are thinking about being in the sun throughout the day and want to use this for your application, you shouldn't. If you're thinking about swimming, going to beach or participating in sports, you shouldn't because it's not water or sweat proof either. Now, this sunscreen can be convenient for applying over makeup, yes, but like other people, I don't wear heavy makeup regularly. But even if I did, 
I still couldn't rely on it for re-application if I needed to stay in the sun for a long time. Am I still going to pay 12 pounds for a 18 grams of sunscreen when I can get the regular beauty of just 50 ml sunscreen for around 12 pounds? Nope, I'm not. What about you? Would you purchase it or consider alternative options? Let me know in the comments below. With all the pros and cons of a stick sunscreen, if you still want to purchase and try out a stick sunscreen, Beauty of Joe's and Matter Sunstick Mugwort Plus Camellia is definitely one of the best on the market. So this is all for today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such product reviews. Remember, protect your skin and stay safe in the sun. This is Sara Deba signing off today from Deba's Quest.